eight people injured in three different shootings, two left dead. Tonight, Chief Davis says people need to put down the guns and find a peaceful way to resolve disputes. A violent weekend in Jackson. Eight people shot and wounded in the span of 24 hours. The violence left two people dead. And what that does is put a dark cloud over, this, over a city, a city with a lot of hope and a city where you see new relationships being built with the community and the police. The trust is there. Police Chief James Davis said Monday, JPD officers are doing everything they can to prevent crime. But unfortunately, when individuals uh, have some kind of conflict with each other, they pull out, I put out guns and uh, uh, use it on each other. And it's, it's very difficult to police that because they don't call the police and say, I'm about to shoot. Police say the violence started Saturday night when three people were injured in a shooting on Monterey Street. The gunfire left 33-year-old Charles Watson dead. If you pull out a gun in Jackson, you use it, and we, we catch you, in which we do. Our solvability rate as far as homicides is above the national average. On Sunday afternoon, 22-year-old Lindsell Giles was killed in a shooting in the Lake Glen Drive neighborhood. Another man and woman were also sent to the hospital. Not long after that, investigators say a man was shot at Tracewood Apartments. Officers say he tried to force his way into one unit to attack his ex-girlfriend. They say another man shot him. Chief Davis said they can help people find peaceful ways to resolve conflicts. We have a conflict resolution class at our police academy. And we ask the citizen, if you have an anger problem, please come out and you, we got counselors there on site. We the man wounded at the apartment complex was listed in critical condition. Police were still searching for gunmen in the two deadly shootings. For now, we're live at JPD headquarters, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.